Juniper ATP solution is composed of three pillars. Detection, identifying the most advanced malware. Analytics, correlating security events to get the context around a threat. And mitigation, dynamically blocking further attempts of a threat. It provides a complete and comprehensive solution for today's threat challenge. Today, most malware is entering through either email or web traffic. Perimeter solutions are the first live of line of defense, but fail to detect unknown malware in line. The GATP decoupled architecture allows to inspect traffic at scale with support of multiple types of collectors. Collectors send back to the core email and file for analysis. Advanced detection capability of GATP, including machine learning, allow us to detect sophisticated malware. GATP can also monitor traffic for malware lateral propagation by sending back also file to the core. When a threat is detected, GATP can be used for threat mitigation. The existing security infrastructure can be used as an enforcement point. GACP support a large set of security solutions, including firewall, IPS, and secure web gateway. Endpoint detection and response solutions can also be leveraged by GATP for infection verification and containment. Finally, GATP can collect security events from other security solutions that are deployed in the network to analyze and correlate security events related to an incident. It provides a global and comprehensive view of an incident to your security analyst. Let's now log into GATP and take a look at some examples. The dashboard provides a time view of host which presents a potential risk. The higher is the threat risk, the more important it is. More detail about the host can be seen on the right side. The next tab displays all security incidents. Filter can be applied to sort them and find a specific incident or event. By selecting an incident, all detail will be displayed. A summary will provide high-level information and provide a kill chain representation of the threat progression. We can browse the other tab for in-depth detail. Detail information on the detected threat and action are listed. The UI provides multiple info, like a process graph and malware indicator list, which can point back to the malicious behavior in a trace file. Let's look at another scenario where GRTP report a low threat risk. From the kill chain view, a phishing and a download have been detected, and an event from an external source. GATP display detailed information of the host. Let's look closer at Dave's laptop. Here is a timeline view of Dave's laptop. All events are displayed, the phishing and the download, both detected by GATP, and also it has collected and correlated an event from Symantec, which informs us that this threat has been blocked by their AV. As a consequence, this incident's risk is set to low. Your security analyst team doesn't have to spend more time on this incident. Let's look at another scenario where the risk is maximum. GATP shows three types of events, an exploit, a download, and an execution. It shows detailed information of the target and threat. Each tab provides in-depth data for each type of events. The exploit event detected by GATP, the malware download event, and the third-party event collected from Carbon Black Response. Let's take a look at the timeline view.
All events related to Nick's laptop are represented. First, the exploit. Then, the download of the malware. And finally, the event for carbon black response that the file has been executed. With the knowledge of that context, the risk is set to maximum. It requires immediate action from incident's response team. From the same page, the incidents can be mitigated. Indicators are automatically extracted and can be pushed to an enforcement device.